Hey guys, high school hackers here. Today, we are going to learn how to make a model plane like the one shown here. These are great paper weights that can look attractive on your desk, especially if you give it a good paint job. So, let's get started. For this project, you are going to need two things. I made these planes using the hot glue gun and some popsicle sticks so like you are going to need about 10 of those and the body of the plane is going to be constructed using this note that you can also do some modifications and make it more attractive so let's get started so the first thing you are going to need to do is take the hot glue gun and allow it to heat up you will need to lay two possible sticks and apply some hot glue between these two In nice thin strips like at two places leave some gap between these two then Turn this 90 degrees so, so that you are facing 90 degrees to each other and allow, it, uh, and allow them to dry. Now to get work done, I am going to quickly repeat this on the other side. So I am going to take a matchstick. Like two possible sticks, yeah, and apply some hot glue between them. I like to keep these places uniform as later you can tidy tidy them up easily. You'll see why. So now, yep. Yeah. I think these are nearly done. Yeah. So the next step is to take make the top layer. And for that, you need another icing stick and just to make sure they're measuring these. Okay. And you need to cut one part, like about one third of ice, the length of the icing stick. And the other part on the third. Okay, so here's my first part. And now I'm going to glue this down clearly. So I'm applying some hot glue. Yep. Seems like enough. I guess I might need to add some a little more glue. So I'm going to do just that. Yes, seems fine now. So I'll just use this. Yeah. Now I'm going to take another half. with another popsicle stick and repeat the same ok so now I am going to apply some hot glue inside yeah. all mushy and nice to repeat the same over here leaving just enough space for a makeshift cockpit and a nice hack if you want you can make take a small piece of popsicle stick 
Yup. And keep it right over here for a pilot. But let's do that now. Yeah. So Duke is ready. And a few and last step is to add the small piece to the front. And you can see here the front end is like square so if you want you may want to um, take some sandpaper and sand that down maybe your dish so I'm going to apply some more hot glue over here yep that seems enough and um, paste this and once that's over the fuselage is practically done okay so now for the next step I'm going to put the fuselage aside and try to make some wings for a dear old plane so for that I'm going to take two ice cream sticks and glue them together as shown like I'm doing here Yep, glued all right. A thin plate. So I'm applying some glue in a thin strip over here. And before this dries, I'm going to keep some supports at as shown. As you see these will support the wings I'm going to need some hot lower there right over here and as I say every time you can DIY on your own instead you can use some matches or some toothpicks or anything else for these supports and for the wing itself you can also use a piece of cardboard or anything else it's you can use anything that you imagine or want the only limit is your imagination okay so now that the top wing is over I'm going to do the same to the bottom but um, without the support now I have the bottom wing So I'll just wait for this to dry and in the center I put a thin dab of hot glue and now I fix the wings to the plane. That's pretty useful over there. So now you have to like fix the supports to the plane and you and make sure that you're even. I've accidentally cut them a little uneven, so now I'm the one who's okay. I'm cutting them now to make them a little even, gluing the, gluing them back on with a little uh, of hot glue. them back on. I'm doing the same for this too. And I'm like gluing it back on. Yep, that's okay. Now what we have to do is secure the supports to the wings like this 
and for that I'm going to apply some hot glue. This, this will do. Same over here. Yes, and for this I'm going to need some hot glue over here and over here. Now that seems all right. Yes, I guess we've done it. Yeah, yes. okay to me. What do you think? Hmm? Post in the comments below. Okay, so now, now that we finished the wings, I'm going to like take the excess hot glue over here. But I think we can deserve that for the last. And I'm going to try to make the rear wing. Um, so now we come to the last part of the video and that is to make some wheels for the plane so I'm taking uh, a shovel type ice cream stick the thing you find in commonly ice cream store shops and I'm cutting them in the form of a wheel actually I'm taking two of them for this So I'm keeping one or the other and putting them. Yes, I think that will do. So now I think the wheels are a little too big, so cutting down the size right here and over here. It's extremely important that these wheels are of the same size so the paint stands evenly on the ground. And I guess that's it. And so now, I guess the last part is to glue them. Some hot glue as usual. Oh no, this come down. So, hot glue is gone. So, I'm going to glue it up. Hot glue and keep it in the front. I'm going to glue these wheels too. The sides. Like gluing them in an, at an angle. Applying with hot glue. them back so I guess we finished our play is done and so the chair is ready to fly but there's one thing more some artwork and for that I'm going to use some sketch pens to do it and I'll show you the finished part and that is this like I use some of the normal brown colors and I know it's an incomplete painting job but I guess you are better painters than me and you can complete it better hmm? so now like we've got two paper planes and they make for a great showpiece I can also use them as a paper weight or anything else you want to I hope you had a good time and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.